Are you one of those who are born again or are being born again? Do you understand the concepts of the second death? Do you know that it's tragic for anyone who hears the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to end up dying again? Do you know that if you heard me to this point, it is not God's will that you may perish and that you may come to the revelation of Christ. So I say to you today, ask yourself these questions. Do I want to be born again or do I want to die again? Only you can answer that question for yourself. I know the answer to that question for myself. And I give glory to the Lord. Are you looking at the sufferings, the trials and the tribulations of this world to determine your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you, because of fear of what may happen to you if you submit your life to Christ, because of the fear of that, you are choosing not to be born again, you are choosing to die again? Hmm. The church of Smyrna, the Lord used that church to let us know that there's nothing worth dying again for. But when you understand that the overcomers have an eternal blessing waiting for them, perhaps it will help you to make up your mind concerning Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Bible says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In other words, all came into this world dead spiritually. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus, the Son of God, came to give us eternal life. Have you received eternal life from Jesus, the Son of God? If you have, give glory to Him in a moment we are going to give glory. Are you still on the outside looking in? This message is for you. Give you another opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ, to submit your life to hear the voice of the Lord calling on you, calling on your hearts to come back into the kingdom of God. The Lord will bless you. He will grant you His Spirit. He will grant you the faith that you need to overcome. Every tribulation, every persecution, everything that the enemy may throw against you. He will bring you under his protection and his provisions. So receive Jesus Christ today, I say to you, if you've never received him. And if you have received the Lord, I want you to pray for those that the Lord has given the opportunity to hear us today. Pray for them to hear the voice of the Lord through Love Divine Church today. Pray for them to hear the call for salvation of their heart.
pray for them for the faith to receive to submit to the Lord Jesus Christ Lord we give you thanks give you thanks you say how do I submit my life to Jesus the Bible tells us in Romans 10 you say whoever believes in their heart that Jesus died three days later God raised him from the dead and confesses with their mouth the Lord Jesus and that one will be saved for everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord is saved are you everyone one of the everyone's call upon him now say Lord Jesus son of God forgive my sins I come before you as a sinner make me a saint by forgiving my sins right now I pray thee. receive me into your kingdom I give thanks to you I give thanks to the Almighty God for his love upon my life for sending you to save my life I receive salvation from you Jesus today I receive forgiveness of sins I receive in Jesus mighty name amen amen if you pray that simple prayer guess what the Bible said there is rejoicing in heaven just because of you all heaven is rejoicing because the child of God has come home a prodigal son has returned has come home has come to himself and has returned home praise the Lord praise the Lord I want us to pray right now I want us to give thanks to the Lord this is for every one of us now it is time to open our hearts for the blessings to be poured down upon us. First, we start with thanksgiving. Give him thanks for who he is to you. Give him thanks for his salvation. Give him thanks for his protection. Give him thanks for his provisions. No one of the problems in this world or fallacies in this world people some people think that they are the ones who are doing everything for themselves some max wealth they have great wealth and they think they can control their lives the Bible said there was such a man in the old days he acquired so much and one day he said okay now I can settle down and enjoy the works of my hand he didn't know that that very day his life was required of him let us give thanks to the Lord for the life that we live some of us are focusing on troubles and trials and tribulations Try focusing on something that is good in your life. The life itself is a gift from the Lord. Give Him thanks for the life you live today. Give Him thanks for the breath in your heart, in your lungs. Today. Let's give Him thanks for protection. The Bible says, No weapon formed against the child of God shall prosper. The Lord contends with those who contend with some his people. He is our shepherd, the perfect shepherd, the good shepherd. Give him thanks for his protection. They may come against you one way, they will scatter seven ways in Jesus' mighty name. Pray everywhere they gather to do you harm. Let the fire and brimstone descend from heaven and scatter them spiritually and they feel it in the physical. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Pray against those who want to devour that which the Lord has laid out for you as a blessing. 
the flying locusts that want to come into your vineyard and scatter your vineyard. The little foxes that run on the ground to come and destroy the vineyard. Or the worms that creep on the ground to attack, attack the root of the vineyard. Anything that wants to attack your source of blessing. Pray and say, Lord, content with them in my place. Stop them, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Let your wall of protection come upon us, come upon our vineyard in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your invisible wall, your perfect wall, your wall of fire that surrounds us, surrounds your people, surround us in Jesus' mighty name. Not like the wall of Jericho, because the wall of Jericho came tumbling down. The wall of God around us will not tumble down in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want us to pray for the blessings of the Lord. Say, bless me, Lord. You grant me a fresh blessing today, I pray thee. Bless me with what I need and what more than what I need that I may be a blessing to the world around me. Use me, O oh Lord, as a point of contact to bless people around this world. I pray the Lord. Give me what I need and more than what I need. And send me out as a blessing my community, to this world I pray, in Jesus' mighty name. Are you praying for yourself? I want us to pray for the spirit of the Oka overcomer. We talked about tribulations and persecutions today. Grant me the faith of the overcomer. Pray that prayer right now. The faith of the overcomer. The one that will not be afraid of what the enemy is trying to throw at us. The one that keeps his eyes on the Lord. And the power of the Most High that works in our place. Grant us that faith. The wisdom of the overcomer that we may stay strong in the faith that we have in you, Lord Jesus Christ. We shall overcome in Jesus' mighty name. Every trial, every persecution, we shall overcome in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just begin to give thanks to the Lord. If you have any other prayer, release, release it to the Lord right now as we begin to give Him thanks for His finished work in our lives, for His blessings. We thank Him for the peace, for the joy, for the hope we have in Him. We give thanks to Him. It is well with you. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' mighty name, receive the joy of the Lord right now. Receive the peace that surprises all understanding. Leave that problem at the altar of the Lord and receive the peace of the Lord and the joy of the Lord. And give Him thanks. In Jesus' mighty name.